Tonight on Dog Eat Dog, it's gonna get wet. and welcome to Dog Eat Dog. One of our contestants might be walking away with $25,000 tonight, but to do so, they're gonna have to exploit everything they know about their opponents. So yesterday, we sent them away to camp where they had a chance to see each other in action. Think of it as getting to know your enemies, or at least what they've chosen to reveal. <laughs> I don't like to lose, but then again, nobody else wants to, so I'm gonna push myself as much as I can and you know, see what I can do. I hate all of you, just so you know. I don't care what anyone says, it's talent, okay? It's muscles in my stomach that I can flex outward just as well as in. Let's go like this, she's pissed! I compare myself to a hippopotamus because they're really big and scary looking, and, um, but all of a sudden they come out of the water and they can eat you alive. I like to think myself. Even though it looks like I'm kind of not a competitor, like manly, like butch, like I can go sport-wise. Come on, if my parents were only taller. Outside in the real world, I, I wouldn't stab somebody in the back or anything, but I might just do it here. <laughs> We're proud of you, Jay. I'm gonna go in tomorrow knowing that I'm gonna win that $25,000. And it's fine and dandy, I mean, we're friends now, but tomorrow, forget it. Welcome to the game. How are you guys doing tonight? Great. Great. All right, fantastic. Let me explain the way the game works. In each round, I will show you a challenge. Then you guys vote for the person that you think is most likely to fail. Whoever gets the most votes has to beat the challenge or end up in the dog pound. If you win, you can send anyone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. All right, let's jump right in. Tonight's first challenge is called the water beam. One of you is gonna have to make your way across that beam, grab the flag, and make your way all the way back to the starting line. It's time to choose the loser. Let's find out which one of you is about to get hosed. Natasha! Oh, let's see, look at this. Jamie, Jason, and Brock all voted for Natasha. Thanks, guys. Jason, why Natasha? Natasha was not the most athletic in the group. She will not be able to pass it. There's no way. The easy Don Ho, back off. I'm going to prove you. It, I'm going to prove you wrong. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute when Disney characters call you names? Isn't that cute? It'll be yeah. cute when I come back and send you yeah. to the dog pan. Are you ready to take a walk over I'm to the ready. tank? Please come with me, Natasha. Here we are in front of the water beam, so you can go ahead and get into your bathing suit. How do you feel about being first up tonight? I feel very confident. Little do those boys know, I have 15 years of ballet training. You probably won't have a problem. I'm pretty confident. <laughs> well, that's good. That's the right attitude to have. All right, turn around. This is the water beam. We're going to start you on this side. You have to balance your way across the beam all the way down there, grab that flag, turn around, and make your way back to the starting mark. Okay. If you fall off, don't worry, we are gonna give you another shot. But if you fall off twice, you land in the dog pound. Okay. Got it? I got it. Don't forget about those water jets that are gonna be trying to knock you off as well, all right? Are you ready to get wet? I'm ready. All right, take a walk over there. They're gonna help you up on the beam. Two, one, go! 
first time around, now you've had a little bit of experience, this is it. If you fall off this time, you land in the dog pound, yeah. but you did incredible. All right, Natasha, we're going to get you over there. We're going to give you one more chance. The boys over at home base look nervous. Are you guys nervous? No. Oh, you should no. be. No. All right, go on over there. Let's give you number two. Once again, your challenge will begin when I say go. All right, three, two, one, go! That's fine. $5,000 is $5,000. I'll take that, too. Well, Jason, That's you know fine. what this means. Yep. Somebody's got to go over there, and unfortunately, in this case, it's you. You're off to the dog pound. See ya! <laughs> I certainly hope that none of you are afraid of heights because our next stunt is called Leap of Faith. One of you is going to have to jump off of that platform all the way up there and try to hit some of those targets. One of you is about to become a human dart. It's time to choose the loser. One of you can hit the mark when we return to Dog Eat Dog. Yeah. 